guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mindy and this is Sam Mindy Mom. And today I have a big grocery haul to show you guys. I am doing kind of a two week stock up haul. I'm hoping that this is my last big grocery haul for the month of September. I'll probably have to do like a little fill in haul next week just for some like fresh fruit, maybe some milk or something. Um, normally I would go to multiple stores for this kind of thing, but I was looking at the, um, sales ads for Aldi and Sprouts and I didn't see a lot there that was really going to make it worth my while. We're kind of in a weird time for produce because summer produce is is gone. It's out of season now like melons and berries and stuff but we're really not into the fall produce being really great on sale yet like apples and stuff. So anyhow, I just made it easy on myself and from the comfort of my living room last night when I had some time while we were watching TV, just put my grocery order into the Walmart grocery pickup and that's where I am picking that up. So I'll show you guys um, what I am getting when we get home and what I plan to do with it. I'll show you guys my haul in just a minute, but I have never gotten one of these before. It's a free gift. I've seen other people who do Walmart grocery pickup get these from time to time. It's basically a little bag with a bunch of like sample items and stuff. Um, this one is not a full size grocery bag, but it's actually a really good size for a lunch bag. I love these little bags and I just thought that I would see what all is in it here so I can show you how to get it out. Okay, so we have a sample of Theraflu. Lord knows that'll probably come in handy. Some baby lotion. That's good to like put in my purse. I like that Johnson stuff. Some ranch dressing. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, these are going to be yummy. Some Oreo Thin Bites Fudge Dipped Mint. Ooh, yum. Okay, and let's see what the nutrition is on these. One pack is 140 calories. That's not bad at all. I might have those today. Some Cheez-It Snapped Double Cheese Crackers. I may have to hide this stuff. Ooh, these are open. Ugh, I don't think, well, I think it was an accident that they opened. They just weren't sealed properly, but we'll put those in the trash right away. It's okay, I didn't pay for them. Some coffee, but this is ground coffee, so I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to use that because we have Kate, we have a Keurig, and some bare naked granola. I might have some of this right now because I realized I didn't eat breakfast and I'm gonna have some yogurt. 180 calories for the pouch, and then let's see. There was a little booklet inside of it that talked about Walmart grocery pickup, and then it looks like um, some coupons here. These are some baby coupons, like. Desitin, Aveeno, Johnson's, stuff like that. Ooh, that's a good one on two pediatric Tylenol. And a little car freshener. Okay, well, you know, that's pretty cool, I think. And like I said, this bag comes in handy. I like to use these to take lunges in, but I've never gotten one of those before. And I finally hit the week just right, I guess, where they were doing the free gift. Okay, you guys, here's my haul. I have most of it here on the island and then a little bit over there. And my meats are over here, so I'll just start here. This is a pork shoulder, and I make this in the crock pot, and I usually can get two or even three meals out of it. If you want to know how I make my pork shoulder, it's absolutely delicious. I'll link that video up here in the corner because I did a whole video about how to make this and how to get several meals out of it. I have, of course, some turkey smoked sausage. I think this is in just about every grocery haul. Some peeled, de-veined, tail-on, extra-large shrimp, two packages two pounds of ground beef, 85.15, and then a three pound bag frozen of the chicken breast tenderloins. So ignore the dirty dishes in my sink. Um, some cereal, the cinnamon toasters, the very colossal crunch. I know this isn't the best thing, but the kids can make this themselves for breakfast and also it makes a good snack when we're in a hurry and it's super cheap. I always find good deals on the multi meal brand at Walmart. These were only 83 cents and I think this one was only like 297, maybe less than that for this huge bag, which will last us way more than two weeks probably. Um, a loaf of bread. These were like, I didn't need them, I just wanted them. I've been trying to just get some new things in my pantry and in my fridge for me to try. I really like the bagel thins. I've been wanting to make some bagel sandwiches for breakfast. I like to use cream cheese and turkey or maybe eggs and cheese on a bagel thin. And so I went ahead and got myself some. And then I splurged on these. These are the Thomas's mini bagels. This is brown sugar cinnamon. And I think two, it's, it's 250 calories, but that's for two bagels. So it's only 125 calories for one. And they're a decent size. And I thought I could toast these, maybe a little spray butter and a little sprinkle of cinnamon sugar. And it would make, I'm thinking about these more for like a treat, not as a, not as a breakfast. But the kids will actually really want to eat those too because they love like cinnamon raisin bran and stuff. 
Two packages of tortilla chips, they were super cheap. I think they were like 92 cents a piece. We used those in soups and to make nachos and stuff throughout the week. And then over here is the rest of it. Not a lot of produce, unfortunately. Like I said, I think we're just in a weird produce time. Um, I did get some potatoes. That's for two different recipes. These are the yellow, um, gold, the gold potatoes. A bag of Honeycrisp apples, some bananas, a bag of halos. Unfortunately, I had to throw the bag out that I bought last week that I said I was I didn't look at them very well and threw them in my cart, and they were not very good. I had to go ahead and toss those, so I got another bag. A big bag of romaine lettuce. I have been shying away from buying the lettuce in the bucket, you know, in the in the plastic tub, because um, I don't know why. I just I, I like the romaine a little better right now because it's crunchy. Like I like the romaine hearts because they have like a crunch to them. Some baby carrots. One of my favorite salad kits. This is the Southwest Chopped Salad with Chipotle Ranch dressing. I can get a couple of lunches out of that by adding some turkey to it, some lunch meat. Lots of cheese. Um, string cheese is a go-to snack around here. Big tub of whipped cream cheese. We use this to make sandwiches. Um, several different kinds of sliced cheese. Provolone, Munster, and then unfortunately they had sub mild cheddar. I'm not going to eat that, but the kids won't mind that probably. Um, and then the best deal on... I normally like to shred my own cheese, but this was a really good deal. I think it was only like five fifty or something for a huge 32-ounce bag of shredded cheese. So... I'll take the shortcut this week, even though I think it doesn't taste quite as good as shredding it myself. Some pizza crust mix. I like this mix. It's really simple. I think it's a just add water mix. Let's see. Yep, half a cup of hot water. That's it. So it's really easy to make a pizza crust if you want to make a pizza. Two packages of ranch dressing. I still need to get my big tub of ranch dressing mix. I'm out of it, and I don't have a Sam's Club or a Costco membership right now. Story for another day. Um, some taco shells. Um, some all-purpose flour. I've been making a lot of bread lately and we've been baking birthday cakes and cookies and stuff So I needed to restock that some diced pears in juice My son loves these and then some no sugar added applesauce mixed berry. That's from Mott's Lots of canned goods. These are really soup makings um, some hominy This is just Rotel diced tomatoes or green chilies two cans of no salt added green beans I like to eat those um, as a vegetable side some navy beans, some great northern beans, and some shoe peg corn. This is all stuff to make taco soup, which is on the menu sometime in the next few weeks. They This was a substitution. They did not have the Walmart brand of the queso dip, so they subbed the name brand. Two things of low-sodium chicken breast. I got two different kinds of coffee because I'm almost out. This is the creamy hazelnut. It's These are both medium. I normally like the light brew, but this is the caramel cream. They were out of the Walmart brand Go-Gurt, so this was actually the best deal for the price. It's 24 of these, and my kids eat these for snacks or take them in their lunch. And I've said before that when it comes to kid-friendly yogurt, the tube yogurts are the best when it comes to added sugar because they only have 8 grams of added sugar per tube. And the ones that come in the little cartons are like way more than that. Two of my favorite Dan and Light and Fits. These are the caramel apple pie. And then, guys, I was buying these a lot before I did Weight Watchers. It's the Greek Crunch. This is the strawberry cheesecake. So it's a strawberry cheesecake Greek yogurt. And then it has, like, this little thing on the top that you add to it. You sprinkle into it. These are so good. I stopped buying these on Weight Watchers because, you know, it was more points. It cost me four or five points for one of these, but it's only 130 calories, and I like to have crunchy stuff. Um, I have – I am a – I am a – I'm brand loyal when it comes to soda, but I think this is pretty good. It's the Walmart brand of Diet Dr. Pepper, and I have been making, um, I've been making like a glass of this with one of these um, cherry drink mixes, sugar-free cherry drink mixes, and I'll make, I'll put that into like my Bubba or something with some ice or maybe one of my, you see my sauna cup sitting over there, I'll refill it with this and fill it up with ice, and that's really good. I've been enjoying those. Some lunch meat. This is the Castlewood Smoked Honey Turkey Breast. I did buy some popsicles. These are a request from the kids. Y'all, fall has not made it to Oklahoma yet. It is still like 90 degrees. It's in the 90s. It's been in the 90s most of September, and it probably will be for the rest of September or the high 80s. So they like to have a popsicle when they get home. And these are my absolute favorite, the Bomb Pops. And these are not bad at all calorie-wise. And yeah, they're only 40 calories for one popsicle. So those will be gone in a flash. I have some crescent rolls. 
here because I'm going to do like some crescent roll sandwiches one night as an easy meal. And then guys, these are for Wednesdays. For the next two Wednesdays, we have activities at the church and then they go straight to soccer. So they've got to have something quick. And yes, I know I feel like a horrible mom for letting my kids eat these. They're processed. They're not good. But I do pair them with some fruit and a yogurt or something like that. So there's something healthy along with them. But those are just a quick go-to. And sometimes, guys, we just got to have it. Some corn on the cob, I bought the frozen. This is for the shrimp boil I'm gonna do and some frozen green beans. And I think that is everything. Sorry for the noise in the background, you guys. I have my microwave going and my air fryer, but I just wanted to show you my meal planner, which, which looks pretty blank. I have decided to do my meal planning while I'm gonna try doing it a little bit different. Instead of assigning meals to specific nights, I have just decided to come up with a certain number of meals and then I can decide as the week progresses what I want to make and when I want to make it. Our weeknights are crazy. We have something almost every single night. Monday, we have something every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and sometimes more than one activity and that's just the regular week to week without adding extra stuff. So sometimes it's just not when I just can't plan exactly what we're going to have, but I can have all of the ingredients to make these various and sundry meals. And then as the week starts and as it progresses, I'll know kind of how my week is going to shape up. So I have everything to make tacos. I'm going to try a recipe called crock pot garlic butter chicken, which is just potatoes and chicken and carrots and butter and seasonings. Some crescent roll-ups, which are basically just a hot sandwich. I've got tons of pancake mix. I want to do pancakes one night. I'm going to do a pork shoulder in the crock pot, like I told you guys, and then I'll get several meals out of that. And then I have everything to do a shrimp boil and everything to do a taco soup. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to make these things. I just know that I've got everything I need to make these and I've got a veggie options for it at the side. So that's kind of how I'm doing my meal planning for now. Um, it just I'm going to try it out and see if it works a little better for me. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you this week. That's my big two-week grocery haul, two-week meal plan. Yes, I know you did not see 14 meals on that page, but that's because some nights we eat leftovers and some nights we go out or we get something and bring it home. So I know that those nine meals are probably going to get us through the rest of September. But as usual, if you have not, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Leave me a comment, and I'll chat with you guys again very soon. Bye.